Terra Luna Classic is preparing for a massive, massive, massive move. The question is, is are we going to get that breakout that we all want to the upside or are we going to come back down and go to zero? So guys, in today's video, we're obviously going to be having a look at Terra Luna Classic, currently ranked number 33. So we did decrease a little bit. Volume is still quite high, $960 million in volume, 44%, of course, and the market cap is a little bit under $2 billion, traded at triple three two seven nine two. And of course, the volume to market cap ratio is 56%, which is quite good. So the volume is still high. People are still interested. People are still trading this coin. It's still trending, and that is it. If we have a look at the top burning entities wallet, so we could see that MEXE right now is currently ranked 900 or two with 915 million tokens burn um, that is very good guys now if we go back to mark cap coin mark cap real quick and we look at the markets mexe is actually very very low in the list okay they're ranked number 20 with one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars worth or five million dollars worth of volume right here that is not a lot and of course guys if you like these daily updates on terra luna bitcoin crypto and whatnot don't forget to smash that subscribe button leave a like and let's get straight to business now, if we have a look at top burning entities and wallets, we could see that MEXE is currently ranked number two with $915 million or tokens, sorry, in uh, burning circulation, right? So they burn almost 1 billion tokens. Now, if we go to uh, CoinMarketCap real quick and we see the charts, we can see that MEXE is ranked number tw 20 with $5 million worth of volume, which is nothing. So if you guys want to keep burning LUNK and apply the 1.2% burn, you need to sign up with MEXE because other exchanges are not doing it yet. Right now, uh, Terra Luna Classic is only going to be implementing it on the 20th. Binance is only doing it on deposit and withdrawals. KuCoin is going to be doing it later. MEXC, in my opinion, will be leading it, but not a lot of people is or are trading on MEXC, which is very, very unfortunate. If you want to trade Lunk on MEXC, you could go ahead and use my link in the description below. Not only can you gain $4,100 in trading bonuses, but you could also help me and you could help the Luna family by burning and doing the 1.2% burn, which would really, really help the whole community and keep the price up. And uh, I mean, that's about it overall. Let's have a look at it, some technical analysis overall, see where we can go. So assuming we break out of this falling wedge, where can we go? Well, we know when we break out of the falling wedge, we usually come back and retest this area right here which it started where everything started now this is a massive massive pump if we close above this falling wedge okay this closure would have to be 14 percent right now and it would have to close on the four hour time frame if we have a four hour closure above 31 this would be a clear confirmation not to a breakout but at least for a 70 percent pump to 47 and then maybe we could think for 110 percent pump but as of right now guys we know that falling wedges okay they usually are like this and they get tighter and tighter and tighter as we get down look at that we are entering a very very tight area the question is, is are we going to break out today are we going to break out tomorrow well if we have a look at the bottom of the falling wedge which is currently sitting right here this is currently september 16 which is tomorrow so are we going to have a massive massive move and also if we do break below this support region right here so if you guys remember in my live the other day I mentioned that my buy target for Lunk would be anywhere between 27 and 22, okay? And this is exactly what is happening right now. We peaked all the way down to 25, and this would be a fantastic, fantastic buy area. The question is, is are we going to see that massive, massive explosion? Because if we do break below the support right here, I really think that it could be the end for Lunk, unfortunately. But I don't think it will be because the community is so strong. Luna Terra Luna Classic is backed by a very, very strong community. And we know, guys, that community is pretty much almost everything in crypto. So that's about it. If we have a look at some of the uh, stochastic RSI real quick, and then we're going to move into the exponential moving average. Having a look at the stochastic RSI on the four hour time frame, it seems like we are pretty or entering the overbought or oversold area right here below 20. If we do that, we could have that nice little flip on the daily time frame is a very, very, very important news or very, very important indicator, guys. Look at that on the daily time frame. It seems like the stochastic RSI are trying to make a massive, massive move towards the upside so this is the best news i can give to you guys unless something really really bad happens and yesterday there was a lot of fud with a doquan warrant arrest but right here the last time we flipped over was right here guys it was the 22nd of august and we absolutely took off look at that it was declining 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 and then boom we just exploded we absolutely moonshotted rocket to the moon 627 percent now Am I saying we're going to see 627% again? No, I'm not saying that, but we could definitely see another 100, 200% gain. Guys, remember the market cap is still fairly short. $1.7 million is not that 
it's not that crazy we go 100 percent. that's 3 billion another 100 200 percent. that's another that's another 1.7 billion added to the market that is not a lot okay we saw we saw shiba inu at 30 billion we saw terra luna at 40 billion we saw all these coins at a very very high uh, market cap so it's not that crazy uh going back into lunk real quick so yes going back into the stochastic rsi it seems like we are trying to make that flip and things are looking very very bullish overall on the daily time frame if we have a look at the exponential moving average real quick i mean look what happened right here guys look what happened we are still above the ema ribbon i mean unless we break down below right here this is when things are going to get very very bad which is the 55 ema as of right now we are being supported pretty pretty well and that's about it of course we could come to as low as 21 which is which would be exactly this um not only would it be the green box but it would also be the 55 ema ribbon but we could also have that nice little rebound now if we have a look on the four hour time frame it tells a different story we are still looking pretty pretty bearish on the four hour time frame but of course that's because we are below the falling wedge right here and um that's about it i mean overall we got a rejection right here on the four hour came back down and looking bearish now we know when we're above it what happens boom we turn bullish essentially so this is exactly what is happening overall if we have a look at some of the volume indicators real quick because volume does mean a lot so having a look at the volume indicator real quick we are seeing a decrease in volume now we're, when we're seeing a decrease in volume is pretty it's usually a good sign i mean a big big move is imminent and it's really only a matter of question of when and not if and it should happen very 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 soon in my opinion of course guys if you will be trading this make sure you put in your stop losses and of course guys i am not a financial advisor so always do your own research and due diligence at all time if you guys like these daily videos on loon bitcoin crypto don't forget to smash that like leave a comment subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video tomorrow